talking about taconite, a type of iron ore carried by the Edmund Fitzgerald. There's some samples from Minnesota. And this says that uh, these pieces of crude taconite ore are about 20 to 30% iron. They came from a huge layer of rock, which was broken up by blasting and hauled to a plant for crushing to this size. Next, the rock will be ground to a fine consistency so the iron-bearing particles can be separated. And this taconite can be attracted to a magnet. One time when I was in northern Minnesota, I actually pulled over along the side of the road and reached out of the car with a strong magnet. I could pick up the gravel along the side of the road. So apparently it was some sort of taconite. Uh, concentrate. Uh, about one-third of the ground-up grains contain iron. These are separated from the barren particles with powerful magnets. The material captured by the magnets is called concentrate. It's over 60% iron. These grindings not containing iron are called tailings. And so this is magnetic as well. Uh, a lot of these magnetic properties come from an iron oxide known as magnetite. Here are some magnetite crystals. And what I can do is I can pick up this magnet with this magnetite crystal. Here's a Lego brick model of the structure of magnetite, where the white blocks represent uh, oxygen, and the red bricks represent iron three ions, and the blue bricks represent iron two ions. And again, this structure can be attracted to a magnet. Now, the concentrate is rolled into balls and heat hardened at a temperature of about 2400 degrees in a furnace or a kiln. Peltizes the concentrate, which makes it easier to transport, melt in a blast furnace. Pelts are made into pig iron, which is made into steel. As you can see, there's, there's these little pellets of taconite here.